Good evening, everyone. Happy Wednesday. How are you? Good evening. How are you, Carlita? Fine. <laughs> you? Doing great. Thank you. Hi, Mauricio. Hi, Nelly. How are you? Hi, Jose. How are you guys? Hi. Hi, Hi. teacher. Hi, Mauricio. Nelly, I didn't see you participating yesterday. I am assuming you were at work. No, <laughs> I came <didn't> late. Oh. <laughs> All right, that's still you connected, so that's really nice. All right. Hi, Mauricio. How was your day? Hi, fine. Very good. Perfect. Hi, Jose. How are you? I am happy no, no, no. because I finished the no, no, no. course. Yeah, you completed <laughs> it. <laughs> yes, that's a really good reason to be happy. Also, more important, you completed it and with a good score, right? <laughs> you, complete, you completed it. How do they say? Affirmative, positive. You, com you finished positively, all right? <laughs> all right, uh, Jose, how are you? Nice to see you again, and nice because today is the last day for this model, and we are ready for the next one. Yeah, can you imagine how much you've been practicing? <laughs> you guys are ready to the next level, which I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, it's advanced, right? So, yeah, so that's really, really nice. Before we begin, let me tell you guys, um, we are gonna have the satisfaction questionnaire. Uh, at 8.20, because it, that has to be scheduled, right? So I'm not sure if everyone received the link for the uh, for the questionnaire already, or is anybody missing it? Ya todos tienen el link de la encuesta. No lo tienen que haber hecho, solo el link. Para... Yes. Yes. Okay. yes teacher. Perfect. Y si no lo recibieron, lo tienen, se los envía ahí en el grupo ahorita. No lo vamos a hacer ahorita, es hasta las 8 y 20, ¿ok? Yo les voy a avisar cuando empecemos. So don't worry right now about that. So, before we begin, we're going to check how everyone is doing so you can see your scores and everything, all right? I'm going to show here. And we're gonna check. So if somebody is missing, let me know if you had any problems or anything. You can check it here and report it here, right? So we're gonna begin. Uh, Carlos Vladimir, we have everything completed. Cesar Lemus, everything completed. Dairo, no, but Dairo is out of the country, so. Then we have Eduardo, seems to have everything completed. Emerson, also everything completed. Fatima Gabriela, still pending the platform. Jonathan Jose, let's see, all completed. Jonathan, um, Jorge Antonio Sanchez, let's see. Yes, we got it complete. And then we have Jose Carlos Argueta, all complete. Jose Lopez, same thing, all complete. Juan Carlos, everything complete already. Juan Jose Herrera, everything completed also. Carla Sofia, very good, everything complete. Then we have Kenya, ready to go, Kenya, all complete. Mauricio Antonio, very good, Mauricio, everything on point. We have Mayra Cecilia, let's check. Good, you're also complete. Nelly as well, let's see. Homework one, yeah, everything completed, Nelly, very good. Raul also, I never saw that person. <laughs> Sandra Vigail, all completed. Okay, and we're going to 
the second page to check on Wendy. Wendy, homework one, two, three. Yesterday the exam was completed and you got a 95. So there you have it, guys. Everyone has already completed the platform, most of you. And then let me know if you can see the list, please, the attendance list. Pueden ver la lista de asistencia. Yes, teacher. Yes, miss. Yes, teacher. All right. So here you have your percentage for attendance for this module. Okay. Take into account, take into account that the class for tonight is not in, is not included, right? Hasta su asistencia hasta el día de ahora, lo que significa que la clase de ahora todavía no se ha sumado a su porcentaje de asistencia. Así que él puede estar más arriba si le falta un poquito, right? So there you go. So you can be saying, Carlos, we have 52. Dairo at 21, basically. Eduardo, 73. And then Emerson at 94, you're good. Fatima, 65. Jonathan, 76. Jorge at 85. Jose Bernardo at 87. Jose Carlos at 88. Jose Cesar at 76, 73. Juan Carlos at 94. Juan Jose at 62. Carla Sofía at 86, Kenia at 83, Mauricio at 95, Mayra Cecilia at 77, Nelly Lilibet 74, Sandra Abigail 80, and Wendy at 90%. Okay. Again, take into consideration that you uh, the class for tonight is not included. So your number will go up after tonight. Okay. Tomen en consideración que si aún no han llegado al 80%, los que están cerca, okay, todavía falta que se les sume en la clase de ahora, los, minutos de la, los 120 minutos de esta clase. Así que les va a subir ese tiempo. Right? So you can be aware of that. So, for tonight, we have a conversation. Just a minute. We have a conversation topic. And this is going to be for you to describe, right? You're going to be describing. All right. For this one, you're going to select. Okay, you're going to select one or two questions, and you're going to describe depending on what you select. For example, can you describe how to drive a car? No, I cannot because I don't know how to drive a car. I'm a passenger all the time. <laughs> but for example, could you describe the weather in your country? So yeah, you can explain to other people, right? Can you describe an average day in your life? Totally, that's really fun. I wake up, in my case, I wake up at 5 a.m. every morning. And then I prepare lunch for my family because they go to work after that. I go back to sleep at 5.30 until 6 a.m. <laughs> at 6 a.m. I start to work because that, that's my schedule from 6 to 4. Um, because I work from 6 to 4, but I work from home, sometimes in the morning I eat my breakfast really early, like at 7 or 8. And then at 10 or 10.30, I try to do a little bit of exercise just because I don't want to be sitting on a chair all day, right? So I try to do a little bit of exercise like at 10 10 30. I usually get lunch like at 12 or 1, depending on everything that we have to do. And at 4 that I disconnect, two things can happen depending on the day. If it's Monday, for example, I have to give a private class um, to a university student at from 4 to 5. And then from 5 to 6, I usually go to walk for one hour because you need exercise in your life, people. <laughs> and then if it's any other day of the week, from four to five, I go to work, to walk, and then I return to my house and I prepare everything I got to prepare for dinner. At eight, well, no, at seven, I connect to a pri for another private class. And at eight, I connect for the class with you guys. Later, I have to, well, after the class, I have to wait for Zoom to, finish converting all the video 
and then I have to wait to upload the video to YouTube. <laughs> so that takes me up to 11 p.m. So that's like a normal day in my life from Monday to Friday. Saturdays and Sundays, I'm useless. I don't do anything. I'm a couch potato. So <laughs> but yeah, Monday to Fridays are intense. So you can choose any question, really. You can choose any question how to talk about, right? Can you describe the scariest moment of your life or the happiest moment of your life, right? What I want you to do is to pay attention to the way I did it, right? I answered the question and I spoke as much as I could. I gave you details, I gave you time frames, I gave you all I could. Because at this point, you should be able to speak for at least five minutes consecutively without stopping, right? At this point, you're going to advance you should be able to be speaking continuously for three to five minutes, right? So that's what we're gonna be doing right now. You gotta select one of the questions and try to answer it, write your answer, prepare it, think about it, and try to give as much details as you can, okay? So I'm gonna give you five minutes, select one of the questions, and as I told you, write your answer down, prepare it, and when you start talking about it, try to speak minimum three minutes up to five minutes, right? Consec continuously. The idea is that you're able, you gotta be able to speak for minimum three to five minutes continuously, all right? So I'm gonna give you five minutes. This is individual, okay? We're not going to the rooms right now. This is gonna be individual. You have five minutes to select and answer the question, whichever one you prefer. If you need help, I'll be here.
Okay, we're gonna take a little break right now from the activity because it's about 8.20 and we're gonna start with the questionnaire, right? For the, uh, the final question, the satisfaction question. I'm gonna stop sharing this screen and I'm gonna share a video with you guys, right? Before we go everywhere, anywhere, sir. Okay, so listen. This is the satisfaction questionnaire you're going to be answering, right? This is the satisfaction form you're going to be filling. But before we do that, please don't fill it up right now. Please, please wait for instructions, okay? Before we do this, we're going to watch a video, which is about how to do the satisfaction form, okay? So let me know if you see the YouTube screen, please. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna share with the sound just a moment. Okay. Let's just watch the instructions video right now. And then we'll, we'll go to the link with the questionnaire and we'll fill it out together, okay? Como inglés corporativo, vamos a apoyarte para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción de manera correcta. Vas a recibir a tu correo electrónico personal la información con los datos correspondientes del curso. Vamos a ingresar y vamos a seleccionar el enlace para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Vamos a regresar al correo que hemos recibido y vamos a colocar el número de la orden de inicio siempre proporcionada por nosotros. La vamos a copiar tal cual está en el correo electrónico y la vamos a colocar en el punto número uno. En el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre completo, que es de cada uno de ustedes. Lo vamos a copiar de igual manera en la información que hemos compartido y lo vamos a colocar en el nombre completo. Siguiente a ello, vamos a colocar el correo electrónico personal que ustedes han proporcionado a inglés corporativo. De igual manera, vamos a colocar así el número de contacto que ustedes han proporcionado. Lo vamos a copiar. Y así lo vamos a colocar en el número de celular. Posteriormente colocamos el sexo. En el punto número 6 vamos a desplazar la flechita y vamos a buscar el departamento de residencia donde ustedes actualmente viven. De igual manera vamos a colocar el municipio en el cual ustedes están residiendo. En el punto número 8 vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa. Cuidado en ese punto, ya que vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa tal cual razón social y nosotros lo tenemos registrado. De igual manera, les hemos compartido el nombre correcto para que ustedes puedan colocarlo. En el nombre del proveedor, vamos a colocar de acuerdo a nuestro centro de formación, que es Inglés Corporativo Real International. Vamos a desplazar la fecha y vamos a buscar el nombre de nuestro centro de formación. Lo seleccionamos. Y en el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre del curso. De igual manera, vamos a colocarle tal cual está la información que nosotros hemos proporcionado, tanto por correo electrónico y por WhatsApp. Vamos a copiar el número del curso y vamos a colocar. En el punto número 11, las evaluaciones que ustedes serán las harán de manera individual y personal según lo que ustedes han vivido en el transcurso del curso. Las fechas de inicio, de igual manera, las vamos a poder verificar en la información que se ha compartido. De 
En ese caso, nos vamos a ir al calendario y debemos tener el cuidado ya que en el calendario podemos retroceder o adelantar las fechas. De igual manera, si tenemos fechas proporcionadas, vamos a tener que buscar el mes y la fecha indicada del inicio del módulo. En la fecha de finalización, de igual manera proporcionada por nosotros, vamos a desplazar el calendario y así vamos a seleccionar el día en el cual está finalizando el curso. En el punto número 14, vamos a colocar una valoración personal que ustedes han recibido de parte del desarrollo del curso. Posteriormente, ustedes pueden seleccionar algunos cursos de otro interés o algún comentario que ustedes tengan respecto al trabajo desarrollado. Vamos a darle clic en el botón azul de enviar y posteriormente vamos a recibir un mensaje de la respuesta a su enviado. Cuando ustedes han recibido este mensaje, favor de tomar una captura de pantalla, compartirla al grupo de WhatsApp correspondiente junto con su nombre completo, según nosotros los tenemos registrados. Okay, hey, those are the instructions, guys. All right. So that's how we're going to be filling it out. So I'm going to share the screen with you, um, the one for the for the questionnaire. Le voy a compartir ya la encuesta de satisfacción. El, me dicen si ya la están viendo en pantalla, por favor. Sí. Okay. All right. OK, está bien. Entonces, um, el número completo de la orden de inicio. Si ustedes no recibieron el correo, o en todo caso no lo pueden accesar, yo se lo voy a pegar acá en el chat ahorita, ¿ok? Para que puedan tenerlo. Así que ahí tienen el número de orden de inicio en el chat de Zoom, el chat de la clase. ¿Ok? Sería básicamente ese. Que sería su número de orden de inicio. ¿Ok? Para que lo puedan poner ahí. Luego, obviously, you're going to enter your name and your email and your cell phone. Those are like basic information, your gender, your area of where you reside. Okay, departamento de residencia. Ok, si ya ingresaron su nombre, correo, su número de celular, ya determinaron femenino masculino y el departamento de residencia y el municipio, vamos entonces al punto 8, nombre de la empresa donde trabaja. Si por alguna cosa no se acuerda si está con, el, con la razón social o el nombre de la empresa, yo le puedo mostrar acá en pantalla cómo aparece. Okay. Recuerden que en la lista tenemos la información de cada uno de ustedes acá, de sus empresas. Así que si alguien la necesita, pues me deja saber. Si no, ahí ustedes lo que ustedes tengan. Me avisan cuando podamos ir avanzando. Hicieron una pregunta. Dígame, Wally. ¿Nos va a mandar el link o cómo? Ya se los mandé en WhatsApp. Ah, ok. Ustedes Ahorita. tuvieron que recibir el correo, pero también se los envié en WhatsApp, en el grupo, Wally. Ah, está bien. Gracias. Uh -huh. ¿Cuándo enviaron el correo? No sé. fecha específica o en general? No, creo que, creo que cada uno de ustedes lo recibió en fechas diferentes, pero el link se los mandé ahorita al grupo, a todos, para la encuesta. Así que, para que tengan fácil acceso. Ok, luego continuamos con el punto 9. 
el nombre del proveedor y pues se va hasta abajo y selecciona el... uy, ¿dónde está? acá, Regal Inglés Corporativo, Regal International sería el que ustedes tienen que solicitar que poner ahí luego el nombre del curso que son intermedio 4 a ver sí, ustedes tienen el nombre del curso inglés intermedio módulo 4 nombre del curso inglés intermedio módulo 4 Y luego, punto importante, acá ustedes van a hacer la, la valoración, en el punto 11 ustedes hacen la valoración. Y la fecha en que inició el curso, este módulo inició el 9 de agosto de 2023. Iniciamos el 9 de agosto y lo finalizamos ahora 13 de septiembre. ¿Okay? Así que para lo que tengo ahí. Agosto 9. Y la fecha en que finaliza, pues hoy, septiembre 3. Ahora bien, en el punto 14, recordarles, si ustedes marcan insatisfecho, están dando por entendido que ya no van a continuar en los demás módulos, ya no quieren seguir en el programa. ¿okay? Esto no, es, no tiene que ver con, el, con la teacher, con la clase, esto es en general. Así que... Si ustedes marcan insatisfecho, se da por entendido, Regal, que ustedes ya no van a seguir en el programa de inglés nacional para el trabajo. Así que ojo con esa parte. ¿okay? Luego mencionen si hay otros cursos que son de su interés, cursos de administración, cursos de Office, cursos de Excel. Eh, dígame, Eduardo. Fíjese que yo me quedé en la, en la primera. Veamos. En la que... En el que dice el crece el número completo de la orden. Ah, acá se lo puse. A ver. Ah, ok. Ya estuvo, gracias. All right. Y los que ya vayan terminándola, mandan la captura de pantalla donde dice gracias. Y cuando la envíen, antes de dar de enviar, abajo escriban su nombre completo para que caiga la imagen con su nombre completo de una vez. Donde dice enviado, cuando ya le hayan dado enviar, le dan captura y cuando envían la captura, escriben abajo su nombre completo y lo envían al grupo. Ok, ya empezamos a recibir la mayoría. Vladimir, thank you. Nelly, gracias. Juan José, gracias. Edward, thank you. Jorge Antonio, gracias. José Carlos, gracias. Solo esperamos los demás que envíen sus capturas. Carla, gracias. En mi caso, el nombre de la empresa nada más me hace falta. Ahorita vamos a buscarlo. Juan Carlos Herrera, grupo E, que con doble J. E, sí, uh -huh. grupo S -A -D -C. E, y ahora es S A D C. Quiero ver el grupo A, ah, grupo S, forma S A D C. Uh -huh. Jonathan, thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Mayra, thank you. Mauricio, thank you. Emerson, thank you. Kenia Recibido, thank you. Solo hay un par que está todavía pendiente. Me dicen si necesitan asistencia. Juan Carlos, recibido. Thank you. Juan Carlos, recibido. <ríe> yeah. Eduardo, recibido. Thank you. Wendy, ¿cómo vamos con la encuesta? Abigail, ¿cómo vamos con la encuesta? Fátima. Ok, tengo tres personas pendientes con la encuesta. Eh, ¿Se quedan completándola, por favor? Vamos a seguir con los demás. Vamos a continuar con el programa, ¿ok? Sandra Abigail, recibido. Thank you. José Bernardo, thank you. Okay. Tengo dos personas pendientes en completar la encuesta. Eso sería todo. Con eso la completamos y vamos a seguir entonces ya con el aplauso. ¿vale? Los que están pendientes, asegúrense de hacer lo que los demás hicieron. Envíen la captura con su nombre completo una vez terminada. Right? So, denme un momento para cerrar la puerta por el ruido de la lluvia. Uh, está potente. <laughs> All right. So let's continue. Give me a moment. I wait my glasses and I'm blind. All right. So we were checking, you were completing your answers for the description, right? You, you're going to describe. Okay. We're going to select one of the questions and you're going to describe right whatever it is that you select and then you're going to share your answer with us okay como interrumpimos la 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 para que ustedes completaran esto lo lo interrumpimos por la encuesta les voy a dar cinco minutos más okay tienen cinco minutos más y cojan una de las preguntas escriban la respuesta prepárenla y recuerden que la meta es que ustedes puedan que ustedes tengan la capacidad de contestar ese tipo de preguntas al azar, hablando de corrido, por lo menos de tres a cinco minutos, sin parar, para contestar esa, la, cualquiera que sea la pregunta que escogieron. De tres a cinco minutos, más que bien, ¿ok? Sin parar o sin muletillas de pausas. Right? Les voy a dar cinco minutos más, así que a las 44 podemos iniciar.
Okay, let me hear your answers. Which question did you select? And let me, let's share your answers. I am going to be taking the time for you guys. So we're going to be using this, the timer to measure how long you speak, right? So if you speak three minutes, that's okay. If you speak more, that's even better, right? Less than three minutes, we need to improve, right? So let's begin. Do we have do we have volunteers to start answering? Carlita, please. Go ahead. Which one did you select? I select the can you describe your family members? All right. Let's um, start. <laughs> my family is big, yes, little big. Okay. I grew up with my mom and my aunts and my cousins. My mom is very serious but confident person. And my cousins are five of the same age. Okay. And their, their names are Vanessa, Karen, Kevin, Marcia, and Nelson. Vanessa is a very kind person. Karen is cheerful. Is cheerful. Cheerful. Mars, cheerful. Uh, Mars is also very kind and loves the these children. And Kevin is a very active person <laughs> and loves the sport. And Nelson is really, really. Um, my aunts are all very cheerful, hardworking, and intelligent. And in my house, most of are women. Mm -hmm. There are uh, there are about twelve. Of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we also we also had the two important mem members in the family. Uh, our pets. <laughs> okay. One one of them is called Sik. Sik. His name is Blessing from God, but he is a little devil. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, he is cheerful. He loves to be with all family around and love food and watching TV. <laughs> oh. He is a chubby dog. dog. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And loves, mm -hmm. and loves to be uh, breeder. What is it? Catering. Caters. Mm -hmm. Also pet. He loves to be pet. Que lo Aha. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> All right. And the other is a sixth brother. He's called a children and he is very playful and be shy book study. Mm -hmm. He also loves to eat, but it is he is fit <laughs> oh. and more and more active than sick. Oh. And they they are the babies in my family. <laughs> is he younger or is he older than the other one? Uh, no, it's it's uh the the same day. Oh, they are the same age. Oh, that's nice. Yes. What yes. color are they? she mm, is brown with. White <laughs> and Luren is all white. <laughs> okay. Do you get along with all the members in your family? Do you get along with every member of your family? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what happens very, if there are very... conflicts? Come on? What happens if there are conflicts? How do you resolve them with your family? Uh then the fight <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> with we are ring. <laughs> no, I try to talk or okay. or, or uh, ¿cómo se dice? apoyarnos. Support each other. Support each other. Support each other. And, All right. and love uh, <laughs> celebrate parties. Yay. <laughs> All right, that's going to be it, Carlita. You spoke for three minutes, 43 seconds, which is really good, right? Really good. Remember, the goal was three, three minutes. If you spoke more time, that's even better, right? That's perfect. So very good job. 
I want to mention that you didn't stop talking. You spoke continuously, which is what we're looking for. And also you didn't use any muletillas, right? You didn't use any. So that's very good, Carlita. <laughs> Impressive. Okay, who goes next? Who's next? Volunteers? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, please. Oh, I'm gonna I... set the, the timer, okay? You can start. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I select um the second question. Can you describe how to drive a car? Okay. Um actually I I don't I don't know how to drive a car, but I already took my first drive lesson with my husband. That's and nice. <laughs> yes. I have learned to drive because when I was 16 years old, I say I was take uh one lesson with my father, mm -hmm. but I I was a bad experience because he he told a strong with me he how do you say negrito? He's he yelled at me. Yes, he yelled at me because I was hit the car in, oh. in <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Uh, but now I think I I will, I will learn or I will yes, learn to drive a car because my husband is very patient with me. <laughs> okay. And how was your first I, lesson? Talk about your first lesson. The last uh, weekend. Okay. Tell us about it. How was it? What did you do on your first lesson? Uh, well, I, I learned to... Start the car and I, I drive um, 100 miles. I drive the car or a short. Um, I drive or I drove? I drove the car mm -hmm. short, um, the short time in, in the way around my house. Mm -hmm. it's very, how, did, <laughs> how did you feel? Yes, yeah, it's very exciting because um one month ago I I had a motorcycle but oh I don't like it. <laughs> it's very dangerous for me. And you know I, how to drive a motorcycle? Yes, I I I learned but I'm very <laughs> um how do you say Nerosa? Scared. I'm scared. I'm, I'm very scared and I sell the motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think driving a car is easier? Yes. But um mm -hmm. the car how do you say car automatic? I see automatic car. Uh the car automatic. Aromatic car is very easy, I think. <laughs> Definitely. And yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you, Maida. Very good. So I want to show you you are speaking for three minutes and sixteen seconds, right? So very good. Um the reason why I ask you questions and I is to help you to continue speaking, right? Sometimes, and this is a real situation when you go to an interview. The interviewer is going to engage in the conversation with you, right? So in order for you to speak more, they are going to continue asking you questions. The point is that you have to be able to answer them continuously. And it's exactly what you did by that. No hubo ninguna pausa, no hubo volteas. Y cada pregunta la contestaba en el mismo segundo que se le hacía. Very good job. So you could, the conversation was very fluent, right? So very good. God, Mayra, you're in a good pace. <laughs> Okay, do we have another volunteer that wants to share which answer you are going to describe? Remember, this is your last night to practice before you go to the next module. 
que probablemente va a tomar varios días antes de que inicie, así que van a pasar sin practicar varios días. Try to take advantage of tonight. Traten de practicar lo más que puedan ahora. Let's see, do we have another volunteer? Jose, go ahead. Okay, let's try it. That's the attitude, okay? This is a zero. <laughs> okay, so you okay. can begin. Okay. I select the question number 10 that said, can you describe your intention for the next five years of your life? Yes, for sure. Well, let me tell you that thinking about future sometimes is so difficult. Uh, however, it's an adventure because you are your own captain and your own mayor, so you, you can decide which address are you going to, right? Exactly. In my case... I see myself in the next five years realizing my dream that I start my own business at hardware store. This is a, a noise that is in my mind most of the time. And not from now on, I have already three years ago that I that I have coming with this with that idea. Uh, also every day as soon as I wake up, I set a goal, short goal, focus on, on my business uh, because that's my dream. Uh, at the moment, uh, my wife and I, we have getting a property where we want to start our business because that's not only my dream. That is a that is a dream for we both. I shared I shared dream. Yeah, because um, because we just want to start our own business because. We have a dream that one day maybe we can the freedom about financial, right? That's okay. our dream. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, such I told you at the moment, we have the property where we want to start our business because we have been paying for it the last three years. We finished it on April from that year, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes we used to discuss about the topic and we think about to get a credit with any bank and start at the moment. However, I believe that we can get more knowledge about the topic. Uh, fortune is in the ball, right? But now it's not the moment. <laughs> we decided to, to wait a few time more. Uh, also, we were learning about the sense of commit. Most of the hardware store in El Salvador have been created a, a group that is called the Senza. So whichever hardware store that you saw, you will saw the, the name the Senza. Them are a group and them have a big warehousing where they have the products. So you can go over there and get the product and them have the same pricing in all El Salvador, right? Okay. So you don't have problem with the pricing competitors. Mm -hmm. And and also they provide you the tools and the material that you need. And that, that's mm -hmm. great at the moment, yeah? And such I told you, however, we don't feel ready yet because we are, I feel young even. <laughs> <laughs> And our plan is is, is that because um, we think starting the next five years. Also, we just know that it will take a long time for to it become profitable. We mm -hmm. think in another five years it can be profitable, right? Mm -hmm. And so when we get four years or forty five years, okay. we just want to get our business being in profitable and we traveling around the world with our daughter because we only have one daughter and that's it all also we close it that's that's <laughs> that's the limit one <laughs> yeah <it is>. intelligent <laughs> business thinking <laughs> yeah, yeah this is a, that's our plan yeah. very good okay i want to say you were speaking for exactly four minutes right now so that's really good you were speaking for four minutes, right? So that's also impressive. And um, I didn't see any repetitive words, so that's very good. 
there were none. And you were able to listen to the comments that I was making and you continued the conversation, including my comments, right? You didn't make any pauses. So very good. So you guys are showing that you're ready for interviews. Just a little bit more practice in advance and you're ready to go, <laughs> right? So now, do we have more volunteers? Do we have more volunteers for this exercise? If not, we are going to, well, first I'm going to take attendance before I forget. So please, let's um, be ready to say here or present when you listen to your name, okay? Um, Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Dairo Jonathan Fuentes. Eduardo Antonio Magaña. Teacher Blaine present. Thank you, very much. Thank you, Eduardo. Here. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present, miss. Thank you. Fatima Gabriela Loza. Jonathan Jose Gonzalez. Present, miss. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present. Thank you. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present. Thank you. Jose Cesar Lemus. Juan Carlos Herrera. Present, Miss. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera. Present. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta. Present. Thank you. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez. Mauricio Antonio Velasco. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelly Lilibet Andrade. Present. Thank you. Sandra Abigail Bonilla. And Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Okay, that's for attendance. And now we're going to go to... Present teacher. Wendy, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Wendy. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys about these two pictures. Okay, so let me share the screen with you right now. Thank you, Abigail. Okay, let me know when you see the screen. All right, so we have suffixes er, or, and are, right? These are, they are called suffixes because they go at the end of a word, okay? For example, cater, cheater, eater, right? And then you have other words like delimiter, profiter, recruiter, solicitor, baker, right? But there are others, there are other rules for suffixes that use like or, for example, administrator, calculator, coordinator, and so on and so forth, right? In the student's manual, you're going to check the ones with air right now, okay? You will see the ones with air in just a moment. Okay, um, we have suffixes air, ear, or and or, the ones that we're gonna be saying. Okay, but I wanted to show you guys some of the rules, how you can add this, how do you know, right? These ones are mostly by intuition, so it's not that you have to memorize them or anything, right? But we have the first, we have one, rule number one, and I'm gonna need a volunteer to read it. And then after you read the rule, you can select three examples. You don't have to read all, all the examples. Just select three and you read them, okay? Do we have a volunteer to read rule number one? Wendy, please. Uh, a white verb ending in silent consonant. When a verb ends a single consonant, it will almost, almost always stay the soup. The suffix. Sorry? The suffix. Suffix. Mm -hmm. Know that if, if the consonant is present by a single 
vowel. The consonant will generally doubly before the suffix. Thus, this is not always the case. Go to the se section double consonant while vowel subsists to learn more. Okay. For example, okay. mm -hmm. but better, farther, but Barter, Barter, Canvas, Hembacer. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Wendy. Okay, rule number one. When do I add air? If the know. word, if the word finishes in a single consonant, in a single consonant, if mm. it, okay, if it's a consonant, if one consonant at the end, then you can add air, right? Grubber, theater, traveler, okay. And then we're gonna check. The second row, right? Um, this one is for or, okay? If the word finishes with the word, with the combination it, audit, credit, edit, then you're going to add this. When you're talking about the person, cuando se refieren a la persona que se deriva del verbo, right? Audit es el verbo, la persona que se deriva es el auditor. Entonces voy a agregar el suffix or, because the word finishes in it, okay? This it visitor, solicit, solicitor, inhibit, inhibitor, right? And then for rule number three, if the word, if the verb finishes in a silent E, for example, bake, base, change, code, they finish in the letter E, but it doesn't sound, the E no suena al final, the E doesn't sound. En ese caso, cuando hablo de la persona, Le agrego air, bake, baker, change, changer, divide, divider, give, giver, right? Hate, hater, and so on and so forth. And then if the word finishes with multiple syllables like eight, accelerate, administrate, calculate, coordinate, educate, when you're talking about the person that does this, you're going to add the combination suffix or, okay? Accelerator, administrator, animator, calculator, coordinator, educator, right? So that's basically, the. those are like the most important rules that you need to know for when to use air and when to use or at the end to speak about the person that does the verb, okay? So taking that part into consideration, we're gonna go to the student's manual and we have a conversation here. We have a conversation between Steve and Anne. So I'm gonna need two volunteers, one person for reading Steve and one person for reading Anne. Maida, please help us reading Steve. And we need one more volunteer for Anna. Um, Carlita, please. Okay. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden plants, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I go find them? 200 wooden plants? I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The other was from the people who manufactured tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a pair of electronic device delivery from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I, I see the problem. The 200 wooden wars we're recording as 20 wooden plants and it is since the crate was placed in the brown dock. All right, thank you. And we need two more volunteers for round number two. Same conversation, we're just going to read. Um, Eduardo, please help us reading Steve. And we need one more person to read Anna. Okay. 
Um, let's see, Emerson, could you help us to read Anna, please? Go ahead, Eduardo. <clears throat> okay. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden plants, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? Two thousand wooden plants. I remember we got others from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. <clears throat> okay, the order was from the well from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for for a crate of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the brother. The 200 wooden board will record it as a tiny wonder, wooden plant. Then I see the, it seems the crate was placed in the road dock. Very good. Thank you, everyone who participated. So we have some questions in here that are related to the conversation. Okay. Number one, what items, what item is Steve looking for? Wooden plants. Exactly. He's looking for the wooden plants. Number two, who placed an order for wooden boards? in the wrong dock. Okay, they were placed in the wrong dock, right? Who placed, but oh, this is who placed an order. Oh, it seems like it was a manufacturer from China, right? Mm -hmm. And then yeah. number three, why was Steve not able to find the items in the warehouse? Mm -hmm. Is it for the they said before, right? Mm -hmm. That is the one you mentioned because the crate <laughs> was placed in the wrong dock. <laughs> Very good. All right. So I'm going to go ahead right now and I'm going to show you a short. I'm going to show you a short video. This is about pronunciation. Okay. Of the stupid in this thing. American English pronunciation video. Give me just a moment. Escucharon el audio. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, I hear. All right. English pronunciation video. We're going to go over how to pronounce the ER ending of words. Today we're talking about word stress and ER ending words that are two or more syllables. The ER ending will always be unstressed, so it will be lower in pitch and quicker than the stressed syllable in the word. For example, father, father, father. I'm sure you can hear the big, small contrast. So the stressed syllable will have shape in it, but the unstressed er er will be very flat er and low in pitch father this ending is written in ipa with the schwa and the american r symbols but you definitely don't want to make a separate schwa sound er er it's just one sound er er let's look at a few more example words louder loud Er, louder, further, further, er, further, er, further, sister, sist, er, sist, er, sister, computer, compute, er. Computer, ever, 
ev er ever over ov er over singer sing er singer so don't forget when you see this er ending to make it nice and short with just the er sound in it no other vowel no shape it's a very flat quick low sound that's it and thanks so much for using rachel's english I'd like to take a moment for a quick plug for a new course I'm doing. Okay, no, that part is marketing. <laughs> right. So basically, she was just showing you the pronunciation, right? It's not like you're going to make a comment about the video. <laughs> it was just to show you some of the different pronunciations that there are. Okay. So here's what I'm going to share the student's manual again with you guys. Okay, and so here's what you're going to do right now. You're going to go into the breakout rooms and you're going to create a conversation, business related, and you're going to incorporate words with suffixes, right? It can be with air, with or, as you prefer. The important point is that you use as many as possible, right? It can be in past, present, future, you can combine that part is not really the relevant. What we need is that you incorporate words with suffixes on air or or, right? So you're gonna have 15 minutes for this conversation. You're gonna have 15 minutes and when we come back, you share your conversation. Important, please do not make short conversations. You are moving to advanced, so you should be making long conversations right now, okay? Las salas están abiertas, pueden ingresar. Tienen 15 minutos para crear esas conversaciones, que sean conversaciones largas y completas, incorporando palabras con sufijos, como air o or. Okay? Free topic. El contexto es libre. Si es business related, está muy bien, pero si no, free topic. Lo importante es que sean conversaciones largas y completas. Okay? Pueden ingresar a las salas, ya están abiertas. Vamos ingresando, por favor. Vamos ingresando los que puedan a la sala, sus compañeros los están esperando.
Okay, we're all back in the session. So let's hear the conversations that you created, guys. We're going to start with room number four. Here we have Eduardo Magaña, Mayra Cecilia, and Nelly Lili. Go ahead, yes, please. Okay, Nelly, are you there? Nelly, Maida? Can you hear me? I can hear you, but I'm not sure about Nelly and Maida. Mm. They are in mute. She left the, the meeting, maybe. I, don't, I couldn't find. Yeah. Okay. Um. Did you work with Maida, Eduardo? No. What? Mara is that it wasn't there, just Nelly. But we're uh -huh. talking about uh, her her job. All right. Um we I think Nelly disconnected. We're gonna oh no, there you there she is. Nelly, we see you, but we cannot hear you. Sorry. We're gonna Thank wait, you. we're gonna wait. Uh we will come back to you. Okay. Um let's go with room number five. We have Jose. And Juan Carlos, go ahead, please. Okay. Carlos, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Hi, Juan Carlos. How's it going? Do you have any plans for the next vacation with... I don't know if I have an issue with the connection or or to say. Can you hear me? Well, okay. hello, Jose. Jose, I am mute. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Probably do you have any issue with the connection, right? Yes, okay. yes. Okay. We Start again. Okay, I'll start again. <laughs> Hi, Juan Carlos. How's it going? Do you have any plan for next vacation with your family? Uh, hello, Jose. Yes, I have a plan the next vacation with my family. I think in, uh, when we, we want uh, to go to Peru. Uh, have you ever uh, been to Peru? To be honest with you, I have never been in Peru. However, I listen about the gastronomy of Peru. I have a friend from Cusco, and he recommended the food of Cusco and Machu Picchu. But tell me, which place of Peru are you trying to travel? Uh, I plan to go Cusco and Machu Picchu. Uh, for this, uh, I, I contract a, a, a travel agency. The administrator ha, uh, has, me, has made me uh, a one week on vacation plan. Uh, that is include uh, three days in Cusco and three days in Machu Picchu. Great. If you are traveling to Cusco, you should visit the Hill of Colors. Moreover, you, moreover my friend who is a traveler, also recommend me the place Mother of God. It is a lake in Peru. Uh, the color is a lake, so the hill is a lake. The, the, it's a hill. The hill of color is one place. Uh, ah, okay. And the Mother of God is a lake. Ah, okay, perfect. Uh, it's on interesting. So good. Uh, I talked uh, to my travel agents. <laughs> to Sorry, from travel agent and include the, those places. Um, thank you for your recommend. Uh, I I will let you uh, what what I what I uh, stay uh, there. Okay. Okay. That's good. All right. Very good. <laughs> thank you. That was a very complete Love. conversation. It sounded very friendly, right? Like two friends were talking about that. 
So that's really good. Also very fluent. And you incorporated the suffixes, right? In the air and the or. So very good job, Juan Carlos Jose. Thank you. And now we're going to listen to the conversation from room number six. We have Emerson Ulises and Carla Sofia. Go ahead, please. Hi, Carla. How's it going? Did you know I will need to find a new distributor of part for my computer? Uh, hello, Emerson. Oh, mm, let me see. I know a very good distributor. They have a good price and high quality. And you need uh, for sale the parts or what parts do you need? Sounds great. I would like you you pass me the contact number. Well, I I need a part for my computers and I have a list of part complete here. For example, I need one motherboard, a fan, a graphic board, and video graphics too. Uh, some, some good. And I sure the distributor sells these components if about the best brands. Uh, the I pass the contact. The number is six six zero 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 zero. Okay, thank you for helping, and I will call tomorrow. Okay. I hope. <laughs> Go ahead, can I finish? Uh, I I hope this information uh, you help help you. Okay. Thanks. Sorry for interrupting. <laughs> Don't worry. For the conversation. Very good job, Emerson, Carla. You sounded like very fluent and very with a lot of expertise. You sounded like expert in the topic. You used the pronunciation correctly and you incorporated to one or two but times or an error, right? So very good. We know that we know how to handle that. Okay. So listen, guys, right now we're gonna go into the breakout rooms again. And what you're going to be doing is creating a summary presentation. Van a ingresar a las salas nuevamente y van a crear un resumen de todo lo que hemos visto en el módulo, right? You're going to create a summary of everything you're going to, you have seen in the module, okay? Now, I don't want you to tell me the, the name of the topic. On the first week, we spoke about this, and the second week, no. I want you to do a general summary. And I want you, more important, I don't care so much about what, what I told you because I know what I told you. What I want to see, what I want you to report in that presentation is what you have learned, okay? So I want you to tell me, okay, during the module we spoke or we saw or we learned and personally, this is what I learned. This is what I found helpful. This is what I'm going to be using, right? So you're going to do a general overview and a general summary we're going to report what you have learned this model, what you feel you have learned, what you, if you refreshed, if you uh, were reminded, right? If you remembered something in during the model that maybe you forgot from basic, anything, incorporate it in your presentation. Again, this is not gonna be a conversation. This is a presentation that you're going to prepare in the rules, okay? This is like you assessing yourself. Esto es como ustedes evaluándose ustedes mismos y reportándolo, all right? Van a hacer un resumen general. Tienen 15 minutos y las salas están abiertas a partir de este momento. Pueden ingresar. Vamos ingresando, por favor, a las salas.
Okay, not the world, but let's listen to your summaries, to your presentations, report, what you learned this module, right? So um, we're gonna begin with room number four. We have Jose Romero, Nelly Lilibet, and Wendy Maritela. Okay, miss. Uh, we were discussing in, in in team. Nelly has the screen about the the step that we choose, and we were discussing. Nelly said that she is having trouble with the internet connection and with the audio. However, she's going to try to share the screen and try to see if if her audio it works at the moment. Okay. Yes, I have uh, audio. Yeah, right. I can listen. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, and the main points that uh, we we our team um discussed was where we learn our the steps of the distribution channels and the importance of a well organized warehouse. Number two, innovation and implementation of new technologies in distribution processes. And uh, number three, we learned about the strategies that a uh, company must perform to storage, pack, and ship products, and the importance of a SWOT in the distribution processes of a company. And many, many more things. Lovely. That's really summarized. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's really cool. All right. Um, anything else? Uh, that you're gonna add, Jose or Wendy, or that's it. We discuss um uh, in a team. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, yes. All right. Perfect. So you're representing it. <laughs> All right. Thanks for sharing. That was really quick, but exactly the mo the most important points, right? So thank you, Nelly, for sharing. Okay. So now we're going to go to listen room number five summary, okay? Room number five, we have Emerson, Ulises, and Carla Sofia. Okay. Uh, we, uh, the first part, I remember <laughs> the distribution channel. Uh, they are three. A direct channel, retail channel, input seller channel. Uh, then I remember, we remember the logistic. Uh, it's about how more the pro how more the product of yeah, the same. Then uh, we learn about expression of uncertainty. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Expressions of certainty and uncertainty. <laughs> Very good, Carla. Thank you. Okay. And now we're going to listen to room number one. Room number one, we have um, Eduardo Magaña, Juan Carlos. I'm not sure if anybody else participated in your room. Okay, teacher. Uh, it looks like we have a brainstorm of okay. ideas, okay? Um, I don't know, um, Eduardo, uh, can you begin? Or I start? Mm, honestly, or I start? honestly okay. we were talking about a bunch of things, but I remember all the time we were talking about uh, everything had relation with business or how to handle different situations in a, a company or an enterprise. And how to handle with the customer, how to what is the very best answer to 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 my customer, and also we we gonna be the best uh, direct este di distribution channel when you want to start a business, and also we we were learning a, a some expression that you want to handle with a customer and how to fix a problem, and also when you want to talk with your supervisor or something like that. And also, we were talking about um, about the logistic too, and we we were watching a lot of video about uh, the Amazon Wars because it was interesting to me because I think Amazon 
It's a really great entry point. It's a really great, great idea that you can learn everything about it, about them. And also, yes, I think it's really important. It can help me a lot with the vocabulary. And also, in the future, if I get a problem with a business or with my, I'm with my boss, I can handle the situation. And also about the logistic too, because, uh. And when you create an inventory or tag label, a barcode, I think it's necessary when you want to to get a great inventory in your in your store. It's the best way to to get a control of everything. But okay. I think it's what it was important. Nice. You were really paying attention, guys. I like that. <laughs> All right. So that's gonna be it for tonight, you guys. Well, for tonight and for this module. <laughs> It has been a pleasure being with you. I really hope you continue advancing. It's just a few more modules before you complete the whole program. And I'm very proud of you from day one to day 25. You have shown a lot of improvements in your conversation, in your fluency, in your pronunciation, in your structures, your different grammar structures have improved a lot, right? Keep practicing, reviewing the classes, the structure, the grammar structures you saw in these days that you're not going to have classes until the next module begins, all right? And we're going to take attendance one last time, so please be ready when you hear your name, okay? We have Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez, Dairo Jonathan Fuentes, Eduardo Antonio Magaña. Me. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present, Miss. Thank you. Fatima Gabriela Loza. Jonathan Jose Gonzalez. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present. Thank you. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present, Miss. Thank you. Jose Cesar Lemus. Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Here, teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Present. Thank you. Carla Sofia Argueta. Present. Thank you. Kenya Elizabeth Rodriguez. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña. Nelly Lilibet Andrade. Present. Thank you. Um, Sandra Abigail Bonilla and Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present Thank you. Okay, guys, that's going to be it. I hope you have a nice rest of your week. Hope to see you in advance later on. Take care. Bye, Miss. Bye. 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 Have a good night. Take care, everyone. Bye, Miss. Thanks for Bye. Bye. It's a pleasure. Take care, Juan Carlos. Bye, Jose. Oh. Bye, Eduardo. I, I won't get any problem with my attendance because I was seeing uh, I had seven seventy two percent No, because you will have some the attendance from today, from tonight. Es la de ahorita no se ha sumado, entonces ya con esa voy a llegar a los 80. Lo logra, cabal. <ríe> y ya, ah, ya, okay. me, ya me aparece como aprobado también, así que. <ríe> We're okay. good. Yes. Ya sabes cuándo va a comenzar el otro. Entre más pronto manden las empresas los papeles, más rápido reúnen ellos todo para iniciar el siguiente módulo. El único retraso que hay siempre es terminar de recibir papeles de las empresas. Así que, ajá. Mm, the okay. sooner the better. <ríe> Gracias. All right. Have a good weekend. I would rest up your week.